I don't know, there's something big just boiled right here though. There we go. Ooh, is that a shark? What the hell is that? Shark! It bit off my steel eater. Jesus. It bit me on a hand. In the air? In the air. Mm -hmm. What's up in that first? I'm so excited for this morning. Sketchiness out here. We are still down in the Galveston Crystal Beach type area and as you guys can see we are on the beach this morning the other day we came out here we wade fished we didn't catch what we were going after with those species we actually found out these waters back here behind us are loaded with little black tip sharks up to four or five feet long and so it's fun you wade out here waist deep chest deep and they swim all around you and they bump into you and there's bait fish everywhere it's gonna be an interesting time the uh, the shark mf -er of the day is, is right down there below this video is gonna be crazy um so we need a special comment for the mf -er, and that's what that is right down there if you guys want to be the mf -er of the day very simple all you gotta do is be a subscriber so get the subscribe button right now and then drop a comment right down below we've been picking someone every single video and we've had some pretty impressive mf -er of the day comments also rocking the the phone camera today along with the gopro on my chest because i was over here waiting and uh potentially maybe um I, I absolutely dumped my vlog camera in the water i'm back out here with garrett sob zach we got casey he actually decided to show up and do some fishing and casey's buddy kyler casey where have you been all these these days man i've been uh quarantining a little bit with a newborn baby but uh got out of jail and yeah. Now back at uh, the beach with you. Ready to rip some? Uh, I'm gonna just outfish you. That's all my goal is right now. I figured so. Pretty cool out here. We got barges, people just driving on the beach. A million people walking around fishing. Pretty crazy out here. All right, 2v2 shark tournament. What are the rules? You have to touch them. You have to get a hold of them or in the net to make sure that, or else it doesn't count. You have to grab it. Is yeah. You gotta grab it by the grab tail. By the tail. Yep. Shit. Or yeah, have it, it or have it in your net, or, or else no, it doesn't no, those count. Are two different things. Like I'll net it all day. I'm probably not gonna grab it once. Well, if it's in your net, you're probably gonna be grab it by its tail. No, I'm gonna be like, Casey, it's in the net. Here, grab it. What are the rules, Casey? Uh, Man, I don't wanna make the rules. You have to grab them. You get yeah, the duck like shit. You get the duck to the point. <laughs> yeah, I don't wanna lose. Yeah, if you lose a finger, you automatically win. Lose a finger, you win. You get bit. You get five points. <laughs> All right, well, good idea, guys. Really, really fell through there. Hook a shark, one point. Land a shark, three points. Get a finger bit off, 50 points. What do we get, five dozen croakies? Yes. Crikeys. Man, these guys are freaking dialed down here. We got our little live well guy and a floating hoop with this little dude with our tackle we got floating nets which also clip onto your body a couple of these donuts even got pole holders in them these guys clearly do this a lot and then the bait bucket's got little clips you clip that to you too so you basically just walk around with stuff floating all over around you okay that's good huh oh, you know what? Yeah. that's a croaker kind of looks like a cross between like a drum and a redfish now he's on the beach. So Casey and Gary have been coming here their whole lives to this spot. And it used to be awesome for speckled trout and redfish, which are the more desirable species, of course. Not that I knew that at all, but um, those are awesome eating species. Well, now the sharks, the last like five to 10 years have moved in this spot like crazy. And they're super, super overpopulated. So we actually ended up keeping one the other day. They gotta be 24 inches to keep. So for that reason, we might actually keep a couple of these sharks today. They're black tip sharks. They're not giant, giant. They're black tip sharks. They're probably, I don't know, anywhere up to five feet in length. And basically it's gonna be interesting to um, be out here walking around before the sun gets up. I don't know if you guys can tell, this isn't exactly a uh, crystal clear blue water beach this is muddy stained water so you can't see what's going on around you but you see bait flipping all over the place and you just kind of wade out here there's these sandbars and troughs so right now we're on a sandbar we're about knee deep a little bit less and then you get down in the troughs in between these sandbars you can see you guys wading way out there but you got to get like waist to chest deep so you guys might be getting put away with the chest cam and getting any hey bait guy slow down I guess we're not to the juice yet. 
Thank you, sir. Oh, you can hear him. Croaker guy. That's why they call them croakers, because they croak. So here's the janky 2v2, that's right. So I actually got a, a steel leader going into a little octopus hook, little section of leader line. I don't really know why that's even there. And then a little slip sinker. Basically just a little Carolina rig. It's complicated fishing though. You, you cast it out and then you wait. That's all you do. Even though it seems very simple, we're gonna smoke those two over there. Oh yeah, that's right. I learned that yesterday too. I actually just saw a shark fin come out of the water right there. Perfect. Garrett reminded me to slide my feet because of uh, stingrays. Another thing that can hurt us out here. It's fun. Hey, there we go. Another five points for big shark. I don't know how we're going to tell that because I don't feel like measuring them. No. No points Something just blew up some bait right there, right in front of me. Oh, also, jellyfish. Got to watch out for jellyfish. The kids have both been stung multiple times swimming. It's good stuff. That's got to be a shark. Yep. It's a hammerhead. I'm not even with you. It's a legit hammerhead. <laughs> We're not killing the game today. It's okay. Set my drag for these some bitches. Oh, I'm bit. That didn't feel very sharky. Oh, he's still on it. Dropped it. Come back, buddy. There we go. Nope. Something weird's happening out there, Garrett. The crabs out here. I don't think my guy is that lively. Oh yeah, this guy's messed up. Oh, there we go, I got him out too. Not very big, what the f it is. Doesn't know it's hooked yet, maybe. What did we get? What did we get? What did we get? Trout. Shark. Oh, it bit off my steel eater. That was a, that was a uh, speck. Really? It bit my steel eater off. Did Casey give you that? Please, or, you you fucking already, sabotaged you me. <laughs> God dang, Casey. It's on now, people. It's on. Yeah, it chewed right through it. That was bizarre. These really float. Nope. Is the floater not even float? Nope. <laughs> For future reference. Casey gave you those? <laughs> yeah, Casey gave me these too. <laughs> what a dick. Got him? Oh god. Here we go. Is that shark? Looks that way. Yes. Yes. Is it a trout? God dang, we can't keep these freaking trout off our hooks. Just gotta just gotta say we're fishing for sharks and we start catching trout. Makes sense. It's a good one. Yeah, it is. It's a good one. That's a keeper. All right, two trout, no sharks. We saw Buddy up there catch a hammerhead shark. Schools of bait definitely aren't getting bit like they were the other day. Uh oh. The shark? <laughs> yeah. Big shark. Ah, oh, shit. Casey's hooked up. Maybe. I haven't seen it yet. Can't confirm. Got him? Ooh. What was that? I think so, too. Doubles. Oh, ho, ho. we got three trout over here. Ooh, good shark. That's three points. 
Dang it. We got the trout curse over here. Those guys are just ripping them out there too. He just lost another one. He had a shark on. One did. I think he just got broke off. Careful, Casey. He's got teeth. You got to bleed him immediately. Just tie, tie it onto your belt there. Oh, me. <laughs> so, I don't know. There's something big just boiled right here, though. So. <laughs> ah. Activity levels are increasing. My croaker's losing its mind. We're probably just in a school. 400 sharks right now. What the hell did I get? A trab! That's a pretty good sized little crab guy. Look, he has no fear. Well, what do crabs count for? I'll be right back. All right, we got the trout and crab hole. We said other species are five points apiece, right? Got it. There we go. Another trout. That's a good one. Another trout. We just had to say we're out here fishing for sharks. All of a sudden, Trout Masters Classic. And camera sipped. <laughs> Dude, chill. Yeah. Another shark. Number four. <laughs> the elusive speckled guy. Oh God. Oh God. We're doubled. This I probably should get away from you, huh? Garrett's got a shark. I better get Mr. Guy here. Dude, no. No, he's coming to me. He's coming to me. <laughs> Garrett did in fact get a shark. I'm just trying to dick with my trout over here. Hey, Kyle, go catch a fish. <laughs> yeah, why don't you stop worrying about it? This is a part of this too. You got to stay away from your partner because these sharks will just take off and get right against you. Like right now, for instance, Head, heading right towards me. Yeah, he does. You can smell the trout. That's not a giant one, probably what, eight, 10 feet? I mean, he's keeper. Ben, just grab him for me, please. I wish I had this son bitch out the net. They don't give up. Did you get him? Got him. Doubled. All right, I got a trout. Garrett got the desired species. North Atlantic black tip shark. That's a good size, man. This is a yeah, that is a good size. Yeah, that's most definitely more than two feet. Dude. This thing is never coming off. Do you notice how the activity all just picked up like crazy? You just caught a trout. I hooked this trout. Casey just got a shark. You hooked that shark. Sick. All right. I will be helpful briefly. I used to watch some like saltwater show where that's the way it would score. Like if you got the hook out, it was for billfish though. Big billfish that used to be on TV. <laughs> It's gonna be a team effort. Yeah. You hold that. Good luck in there, Mr. Trout. Um, put these away. Unless you need me to cut. You got to yeah, cut. We'll cut. All right. I'll get. Uh, what do you want? Uh, you want a shark? I think you need to. Uh... How yeah. Have this bad boy. Thanks. Thanks, Garrett. There he is. Jesus, dude. That's, That's a big meaty guy. That's a cool, cool fish. Again, we wouldn't be keeping these if they weren't crazy overpopulated in this area. That's our uh, seventh, seventh shark, I think. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, it's just our first one. We got, what, three trout in here, though? Three trout. We got three trout to go with it. Call the girls, we're eating good again. <laughs>
it's just so unsettling to cast 20 feet away and just get destroyed by something with teeth. Yeah, that shark's gonna make some, oh, me. Woo. Yeah, that might be why your free line's working well. They might be higher in the column. Yeah, something chased it right in front of me there. That was not cool. Live well seems to be doing okay back there. Yeah. Shark probably bit a hole and they all escaped. What's that? that pier right there goes forever. Yeah, about five miles, five miles journey. Damn. Got him. Got him. Oh god. That's trout. Another trout. Maybe. Probably. It's a big one. Dang. That's a good one. Deal. The guy's hooked up out there too. Come on, shark. Come on, shark. Come on, shark. There we go. There we go. Ooh, is that a shark? What the hell is that, dude? Jesus. What did I hook? I think so. What? You're bleeding? What did I get? Is that a Mac? What is this? That's a giant ladyfish. That is a ladyfish. World record ladyfish. Oh Look at this thing. Dude. That's like a... That is a monster. Monster ladyfish. Look at that eyeball. But look at me. Dude. Like something flew out of my All right, you're in the sun, weird Garrett. I got to see this. Something just... Garrett had his hand in the water. And now no, he's bleeding. I, didn't have, I had it right here. And something jumped out of the water, launched, and bit me on the hand. In the air? In the air. Okay, That's bizarre. Fun. Did y'all see that fly out of the water and hit me? I don't know, but I'm bleeding. Yeah, I don't know what just happened to you, Garrett, but I don't like that. I... I'm already scared of what's in the water. Now you're getting bit by stuff out of the water. Get his ass. It's that guy. It's that gum studs, what that is. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes, he is. He's by me, Dad. Pull on him, Garrett. <laughs> I see fins. Fin confirmed. Fin confirmed. That's about like Casey's, it's small. <laughs> Three points in the net. Yeah, they just look pissed off at the world. Ugh. Nasty, nasty guys. Mmm. <laughs> Damn it, I got a fucking crab. Crab guy. Look how sad he is that I'm taking it from him. Hello, crab guy. You guys need a crab? Oh, he's still hanging on to my gulp. Garrett, don't move. I'm going to put this on your shoulder. Alrighty. on my ear. He's out of the water and he's still like grabbing pieces of it, putting it in his mouth. <laughs> Look at his dumb little mouth go. Oh, sorry about that. Oh my way. He's right to your leg Get there. Ah! Gulp croakers, getting it done. Yeah, that shark, he ate all those trout already. <laughs> Still there, just coming at you. Is it a trout? Not acting like it. 
It is a trout. I thought you had a shark. Yeah, they're both good ones. Yeah, Garrett, you might have to lose a finger so we can get the win. <laughs> you caught it, I'll probably have to lose the finger. Those eyes. Those are some scary eyes for sure. I don't know, man, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Here comes a smaller one, too. I think we got it. So here's our shark that Garrett caught. Garrett actually caught another shark. You whooped me today. I was throwing the Carolina rig with a little weight, and he was going weightless. And we also got a bunch of solid trout. We ate some of these guys up the other day. They're delicious. Fried them up. Can do other stuff with them too. But... Now I just got to see how big these ladies' fish is. This should be easier to get out since they just got the shark in there. They didn't catch anything else. So what are we calling it? Like years weighs more, so you get big fish. So you get five points because you caught big fish, and we get six because we caught two. Hey man, I'll Gary just carried the team regardless. I did nothing. I caught a trout. I caught a good sunrise. It was beautiful weather out a, there. A good, I a good cup of coffee this morning. A good. <laughs> you're gonna get a lot of flack from letting them sit on the beach. We're about to chop their tail off, so. Beauty. Ready? <laughs> okay, we can stay. There's another one. Got him. Is he big? Unknown. Keeper. Maybe. Oh, yeah. That's 15. <laughs> this is fantastic. Oh, wow. Gary and I just, we stopped on the way back from our little trout competition at a spot. We are going to try to fill out our limit of uh, trout. But uh, yeah, that's our third one we've caught. Another keeper speckled trout is what these are called. Cool fish. Catch them on the croaker. Yeah. Kind of cool. They got like a bunch of little super sharp teeth and a yellow mouth in the bottom. And they usually have two big fangs on the top. And this one's just got one, but... We're uh we're getting pretty dialed in. We got about got our limit filled out too. We can only keep is it four per person or five? So we, never mind. We got time for three. <laughs> There's that guy. This is the one I just caught. That's another three or four inches bigger than that in the cooler, but we're working on a good little cooler of fish here between our, our sharks and our trout. No. Another one? Jared just got bit again, okay. <laughs> Gotta lay down on the hook set. Another trout guy. Another good one. Yeah, they are. Freaking badass, dude. It's one of, not as big as the one I just caught up here. No, it's like the last one I just got craziness man they are stacked it's funny because the bridge spot we've been fishing since we got here it's the weekend now during the week there was a lot of people now that it's the weekend you can't even find a place to park there's like a hundred people fishing it and we're just fishing down from it and we're the only ones here us and one other dude i guess but found ourselves a secret spot we about limited out cool delicious speckled trouts Except yeah except for right here so i kind of picture like yeah i see him going with it got his ass got his ass come on bud it's questionable questionable at best we'll let him go <laughs> with a headache now we're getting a crowd when they get out of the truck with giant two-piece spinning rods that are broken down you know they're about to fire it to the middle of the damn lake every time there we go another one 
Another one. I don't think he's a keeper though. <coughs> Little Timmy's moved in. Chill. Yeah, it's got to be 15 to keep. He is not. All right, we're back at the house. We did good. We got two sharks. I didn't do that good. Garrett and Casey caught them, but we won the championship, the shark 2v2 challenge, because Garrett caught two. So that was good. And then even better than that, we stopped at the old bridge spot there on the way home, and we had four trout in the ocean. Now we got four more trout that we caught there. And that big old bloody mess is actually because we've been bleeding these sharks out. So you're supposed to chop their tail off. We've had these hanging up and then bleed them out because I'm sure you guys are experts if you're in the YouTube comments in general, but you're supposed to bleed sharks out because they excrete their waste that is inside of their body into their blood and therefore into the meat after they die. So you get the blood out of them and that's just what you do. But we're gonna fillet the trout up. We had some of those the other night. They are delicious. And then I think we're gonna stake these sharks, which you've seen us do kind of with some salmon and stuff, or not salmon, giant trout, Becky, we did that. Miss Melican fishing is back behind the camera. But Becky and I did that when we were uh, in Wyoming. We actually staked some trout up, but I think that's gonna be really good. So a lot of shark species are kind of more endangered and rare. These are most definitely not. Gotta be 24 inches long and the limit is one per person per day. So we only ended up keeping two. Garrett caught two, we could have kept his second one. Couldn't have kept his second one anyway. These are the two biggest ones though, but I think we're just gonna cut the heads off take the guts out, cut the fins off. Just like a big trout basically, except we're gonna stake it. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Just full of fish. Take this guy off. You can see it's black tips. They're more prevalent on the one Garrett caught actually. No, that's, that is the one Garrett, this is the one Garrett caught. Black tip shot. And then we're just gonna Where stake them. Probably do about three quarter to one inch steak. I don't know if this is gonna work too well, but Dad. it appears that it is. That looks delicious. Look at that meat, Max. Pretty good looking meat. Yeah. I'm excited to try these. A lot of you guys probably know this too, but shark skin is super, super sharp. This little guys aren't that bad, but it's like sandpaper when you go this yeah, way. Remember. Yeah, this way is smooth. We caught one the other day. Nice and smooth that way, but yeah, rough but it's rough way. going this way. Like if we had a big one, like a great wire or something, that would cut you open if you did that. How are these guys coming? About wrapped up. It's pretty good. It'll be even better on the front end. These remind me of walleye a lot, actually. You ever catch walleye? I have not. They're like that. They got the same kind of big janky teeth in the front. They're yeah. built about the same. The white meat is about the same. Yeah, the freaking the fangs. Fangs on there. Craziness. Tastes about the same. White meat. They like kind of the same type of current and stuff like that. Okay, fast forward about uh, six hours and 300 beers and mixed drinks later. And we are out to do a damn fish fry. Let me show you guys what we got going on here. Beauty. Is that trout good, Owen? You bet. <laughs> If you ever get the chance, I, uh, I, I strongly recommend Crystal Beach, Texas. Had a freaking blast down there with the family. Also, if you get a chance, I strongly recommend some little black tip sharks. If they're legal, of course, to keep in your area. If they're overpopulated like they were in the area we were fishing, they've kind of taken over that area, eating a lot of the uh, the game fish. We did catch a bunch of trout that time. Um, of course, this was the video when we went shark fishing, trying to catch some for video. Um, didn't catch one, I'm personally. Garrett, of course, carried the team. Uh, the time we went before that, a couple days before, I hooked like three or four in the first 10 minutes, so we thought it was going to be crazy. Still was a freaking blast and terrifying waiting around with those sharks. If you guys like this, please give it the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button as well. Comment down below if you want to see more saltwater fishing videos. This is kind of, of course, like some inshore, um, right off the bank type stuff, but I want to know what you guys want to see moving forward because I'm sure I'll be back down to Crystal Beach, Texas. That place is it's a good spot. I'd recommend it strongly. but. Gotta go do some more fishing today, um, make some more videos for you guys, and I will uh, catch you very soon, probably tomorrow. I'm out of here. Peace.